Joining us today for another segment of Science with Sarah is meteorologist Sarah Converse. How are you doing this morning, Sarah? I'm doing well. Very excited to get this experiment started. No, me too. And this is perfect for Thanksgiving. So let's get into it. What are we doing today? Well, if you have middle schoolers, you may have done this experiment already, but with a volcano. But since we're in the Thanksgiving holiday, we're going to do it with a pumpkin. So here's what you're going to need for to do this experiment. You're going to need one small pumpkin, or you can do a large pumpkin too as well. You just need more of these ingredients with warm water, dish soap, baking soda, and some vinegar. So the first thing you're gonna do to get your experiment started is I already cut it out, but we're gonna hollow your pumpkin out and I kinda already did that. And this is kind of a fun part for your kids cause it gets kind of messy, a bit of a sensory uh, part of this experiment. So you can even keep the uh, guts of the pumpkin and the seeds uh, so they can play around with it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this pumpkin up about three quarters of the way full with warm water. So we're gonna do that right now. This is cool because you could eyeball everything. Yeah, pretty much. So if you get a small pumpkin, a little bit larger pumpkin, you can pretty much eyeball it all out. Mm -hmm. So next we're going to do about three, three drops of some dish soap to get it all fuzzy. So one, two, three, and four. Awesome. Next we're going to do some baking soda. We'll do three. And the more baking soda you put in here, uh, the larger reaction you're probably going to get from it. So we're going to put one tablespoon. We'll do two tablespoons. Oop, made a little bit mess there. And this is good too. If you have multiple kids, you guys mm -hmm. can each take a step of the experiment. So everybody gets a chance, which is always fun. Yeah, definitely. And once we get the baking soda, you're re almost about ready to go. So Natalie, you're going to do the honors and pour the vinegar in. We're going to put about a quarter or one fourth of a cup of vinegar in here. Okay. And before I put this in, Sarah, do you have a favorite Thanksgiving dish that you love every year? Mashed potatoes. What's yours? Oh, okay. So mine is a Haitian dish. It's called macaroni okay. au gratin, but it's so good. It's literally <laughs> just like very crispy macaroni, but it's amazing. Ooh, like that sounds really good. Everyone I know, even if you're not Haitian, they love it. So if you ever if you meet someone that is Haitian, ask them about it. Maybe they can make you some for Thanksgiving. Mm. Really cool. Okay, so I'm ready to do this. I'm a little let's nervous, let's but let's see what's going to happen. Oh, wow. wow. There we go. This is so cool. Yes, and a fun thing you can do with this, if you already have a jack-o'-lantern, you can even try doing it with that so it kind of looks like it's puking out the, <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds gross, but puking out uh, the uh, things that you have in here. So it's a really cool uh, reaction that we're seeing here. It's a chemical reaction mm -hmm. uh, based off of the vinegar and the baking soda. So a base and an acid. So once you put those together, it causes that chemical reaction to create CO2. So that's what you're seeing bubbling and fizzing out of the pumpkin. Well, that's amazing. So we have the educational yes. side and the fun side. You could definitely even add some food coloring in there to make mm -hmm. it fizzy into other colors. Mm -hmm. And Sarah, do you have a favorite Thanksgiving holiday memory? Uh, pretty much. I mean, I always spend Thanksgiving with my family, with my grandparents. So uh, luckily my dad's going to be coming up to visit me and he's oh. going to spend Thanksgiving with me. I love that, Sarah. Well, I hope you enjoy your holiday. Thank and if you, you want to find out more about Sarah, be sure to check out her Facebook page. You can follow her as meteorologist Sarah Converse on Facebook, or you can see her right here on WICS. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. No, it's a pleasure. And thank you for checking into Marketplace.